Hey, Dave, uh, we're huge fans of yours at the website, sir. <laughs> Thank you, man. How are you? I'm good. You? All right. No, I'm doing all right, man. I'm doing all right. So, okay. I just want to ask you, you've been in some of the biggest movies ever made, but did it feel different in Army of the Dead, you know, with this being t- totally like a star vehicle for you, man? Like, this is like your your Schwarzenegger movie in a way. Did it feel different to you? When you <laughs> yeah, it felt it felt different in uh, a lot of different ways, but a lot of very welcomed ways. But uh, you know, the really cool thing about this is that uh, I was, uh, you know, a lot of times on big films, you just you when you're an actor for a hire, you really kind of feel left out of the process. And I was on this film. I was an actor for a hire. It didn't have anything to do with the production or producing this film. Uh, but I never felt left out of the conversation. I never felt left out of the process. And that was really because Zach allowed me to be a part of it, um, which is why I wanted to take this role and which is why I wanted to work with Zach, because I wanted to learn from Zach. But I also really wanted to be able to have the freedom to put my, you know, to my to put my two cents, to put my to invest in this character and to make him something that I wanted to put on screen, you know, because I didn't want to play your very predictable, stereotypical action guy. I wanted to give this guy some heart <laughs> and give him some depth and some emotion. And Zach allowed me to do that. So I think that's I is a winning formula. I think that's what I actually really like about you as an action hero. You know, I find that a lot of, a lot of guys, they're, they're too afraid to show any kind of vulnerability, but there's, right. I, I like that you're soft spoken kind of sometimes you don't have to act outwardly yeah. macho. You just, you have this real heart to your characters. And I think that's what makes you really unique as an action star. Yeah, no, thank you, man. I appreciate that. And I, you know, I, and I appreciate those guys. I understand. And those, you know, those are the guys that I, you know, I liked watching when I was growing up, but it's just not, it's not who I am as a performer or as a person. And I want to portray something different. I want to give people you know, kind of a different look at, uh, you know, of, of their action hero, you know, show the guy with some heart and, have a guy that they can relate to and empathize with. And, you know, so I, I do that through emotion. I do that even through simple things like wearing glasses, you know, because I wear glasses in real life. I'm, I'm blind, <laughs> but, uh, you know, if you do things like that, you know, that show that you're, you know, you're not, you know, invincible, that you have things that you're working around that you're trying to overcome. I just think it makes you more relatable, you know? I'm always psyched to see an action star with glasses. So thank you for yeah, that. Man. Yeah, no, thank you. It's just, it's, and it's who I am, man. It's who I am. But I think there's also something really cool about you know, kind of putting on those glasses, <laughs> you know? Thanks, man. Thank you very much. Appreciate All it. All right, thanks. Yeah, take okay. care. Thank you. How sweet. Fresh meat. Yeah, sure. It's uh, Chris Bumbray, JoeBlow.com. How you guys doing? Hey, hey Chris. Chris. What's happening, man? So got to start off with uh, the fact you guys have really cool chemistry in this movie, almost like an old buddy cop movie from the 80s. And I was just mm. wondering, how did you guys kind of build the rapport? Because it, it, I thought it worked really well in the movie. I want to see more of you two together, actually. Uh, thank oh, you. Oh, thank you. So yeah, Mari, maybe you could start. Uh, well, it was kind of that, you know, um, that moment where you just said, Omari, oh, go ahead and start. So you see that pause. There's yeah. this desire, so to speak, for both of each other to uh, to have a go at it first and, you know, to sit back and be given the gift of listening to each other's story and, and, and hearing each other answer questions. I mean, it kind of showed up just then. We kind of had, you know, a natural interest in each other. We were, obviously, somebody is from Germany. Obviously, somebody is from America. But within that, what are, what are Matias's stories and what are Omari's stories and can we figure out how to sort of conjoin those stories and not just insert them within the character of Dieter and Mandero, but also exist in those stories once Zach, of course, our incredible director, yells cut. And so I think we were always about each other. We go back to the hotel, texting each other, about each other, hanging nice. out on the roof deck at the hotel, trying to have a bite with each other before each other exhaustedly went to bed. So we just really got on really well. Yeah, you can kind of you can kind of tell actually. Matthias, what what were your what were your thoughts on that? Yeah, you know, every day was like, you, you know, uh, Omari is a fantastic uh, uh, colleague, you know, he was so open hearted at the first time we saw each other. And he was like, you know, come on, let's do this. We have a big stage. Come on, let's be childish. Let's, let's, that's our playground. And I was like, oh, yeah, we will do this. <laughs> and then I was asking him, did you see a movie, Lethal Weapon? 
And he was like, are you kidding me? I loved it. Let's go for it. And uh, uh, yeah, so uh, no, to be honest, it was like, uh, yeah, shout out to my, uh, to my dear friend, Omari. That was great because uh, uh, we both um, were allowed to be childish and funny and crazy and, but still, you know, um, yeah, it was, well, what can I say? It, it was, it was a dream come true. So yeah. It was really cool. Really, Omar, really cool. Omari, I feel like we're just scratching the surface with your character too. Like there's way more from, for mm. us to hear from you from that, from the dead universe. And I, I don't know, can you reveal anything to me beyond that? Even just your backstory too, because it seems like there's a lot going on there. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of backstory. Um, I definitely can't necessarily reveal that much uh, in the front in terms of the future because I don't know, you know, I haven't had that call from, from Zach respectively and Netflix respectively. Um, I haven't had that conversation yet. I definitely felt like, you know, there's a, a world where you can definitely see this guy go into his own space and, and sort of dive into again, what his future is, but equally, as you stated, what his backstory is, because I agree, he had his own backstory within the backstory of having fought alongside uh, Dave Scott and, and of course, Anna's character as well. So I definitely have signed up for, for Zach and uh, for Netflix. I'm now working on my third Netflix project, uh, Soon Come. I leave, I think, within a month and maybe a couple of weeks to go do that. So I'm definitely down, man, to, to be able to actually give you something concrete when you ask again about that question, when that fateful day comes. And I've again paired up with Netflix and Zack Snyder. I want to see how you discover that Saw, your weapon in the movie, because I was, that was yeah. really nice. That would be dope. That and Matthias, dope. I have to ask Army of Thieves, I asked you about this before. What can you tell us? <laughs> uh, not that much, but I just I can tell you that it will be very entertaining. It will be a very entertaining heist movie, and you will see stuff never seen before. And it has a character named Dieter in it. So, uh, uh, Dieter. Uh, yeah, Dieter, you know, and uh, yeah. Um, that's that's uh, that's all I can say. Well, man, I'm, I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing you guys together again at some point because, oh, like yeah. I said, the chemistry between you two was was kind of lethal weapon ish or Tango and Cash. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, hope, I see, hope I see you guys again. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Thank you, you so very much. much. Thank you.